Hey everybody, AmpRepairGuy.com, 203-892-4119. Sorry, I've been super busy over here, haven't been making videos, so the smaller stuff I've just been fixing and getting on its way, but this amp needs a lot of work, so I'll be making a video on this. Also, TL922 needs a band switch and some other stuff done to it, and I have some other amps here in back of me. So, the multi-band amp is put to the side for now. I'll get back on that when I can. I'll go over everything this thing needs real quick. Someone painted the front panel, changed the knobs, they painted the case. <laughs> but anyway, uh, needs a new capacitor on the plate side. Some of the plates are boogered up from arcing. Load cap looks okay. Band switch looks okay. I'm going to change the plate blocker, change the pair of expressors. The fan makes noise. That needs to be changed. Put a new metering board in, new filter caps. Hardbox kit, filter cap board kit. Transformer's bent down a little bit. I'll try to bend it up. Um, okay, I'm going to flip it over and I'll show you the bottom. Be right back. Okay, so I'm going to ground the grids. I'll change the cap over here. Terminal strip is broken. So the guy bought this and he just ended up sending it to me. So this was already probably all messed up. You know, by the time he got it, it this was all bent up. Prior, someone tried to bend it back with pliers. You can tell, see, it's all boogered up there. So, I'm going to do my best to bend that back. The inserts are missing. He has these clip things. Some of them I'll replace those because he had wood screws going through. And I'll put the proper screws through to resecure the outer shell. I'll check the SO239 connectors, change those if need be. I change the terminal strip. Breakers look okay. A lot of times when this gets bent down, the the breaker down here will snap, it will crack. The older ones are really um, brittle. So, okay, right, so I'm going to go through everything, do the bias mod, clean all the contacts, and make it better than new electrically. So, I will see you guys soon. I'm going to get to work. Lots of work to do here. So, stay tuned. I'll be back. Okay, so I'm back with the completed Heath Kit SB220. Boy, that was a lot of work. It's all done. So, replace the air variable capacitor on the plate side. Change the doorknob cap over to a Hynergy Corp ceramic. 1000 puff, 5 kV. Rewound new parasitic suppressors. Put in a brand new fan motor. Reuse the old impeller. I secured the back grill with screws and cap nuts and washers on the other side. He had like these uh, wood type screws in there before. Put a series glitch resistor in. New Harbach metering board. Harbach filter cap board. Brand new meter lamps. Clean the input rotary switch and the output rotary band switch with the oxid gold. Make sure this connection is nice and tight. So that's a good solder connection here. Sometimes that's not good and you have to redo that. You don't ever want that to be open. So I'm going to go ahead and Flip it over and I'll show you the bottom. Be right back. Okay, so here's the bottom. Change that terminal strip. I bent this all back the best I could without completely have, you know disassembling it. It would have taken forever. I had a new old stock breaker. The one that was in there was damaged from the transformer pushing down on it. So replace that. I also had to replace the power cord. I'll show you why in a second. I reused the old bypass caps, but I put heat shrink on the leads so they don't touch each other, and then put a short across the line. Zip tied everything, grounded the grids. The SO239s are good. I changed the electrolytic cap over here where they, you know, for the rectified winding coming off the filament transformer, powers the relay. Did the self bias modification. So if you ever had if you ever had a grid to filament short, you wouldn't have to worry about taking that winding out in the filament transformer. I replaced the wire going to the relay coil, longer wire. It had the wire going over to the center contact, another wire going, wire going over there. I didn't want to try to stretch it around this side, so I went around this side, keep it away from the output lead. So uh, here's the old cord. You can see it's like slipped. Damaged in other areas too, so I had a, another cord, stock cord, in perfect condition. So 
that's about it. And I put new connections in so you can run it on 120. So if you need an amplifier repaired, feel free to give me a call. My phone number is 203-892-4119. I have not put the new clips in. They just they just slide over, but test it full out, put on all bands. It is good to go. So thanks for watching, and stay tuned more, for more videos. And I always solder and heat shrink the wires for the, the fan. I don't use twist nuts. So, so 73.